Today we're going to add integers and I'm going to start from the point of you knowing what integers are, okay? Um, so the first problem we need to work, we're going to work today is 3 plus negative 5. Whenever you add things or any objects, you put things together. So since this is a positive 3, I'm going to write three positives. And I'm going to add to this positive 3 five negatives. Now when I put these positives and these negatives together, you'll notice they create something called a zero pair. For instance, if you put a positive 1 next to a negative 1, that equals 0. If you have a positive 5 next to a negative 5, that equals 0. If I have a negative 20 next to a positive 20, they equal 0 because they cancel each other out. So what we want to do, we want to create as many zeros as we can. So we have a positive here and a negative here. When they get together, that equals zero. I have a positive and a negative. When they come together, that creates a zero. I have a positive and a negative. When they come together, that creates a zero. Well, these three zeros here, they mean they equal absolutely nothing. Well, what am I left with? One, two, I have two. And I only have two, but I have two negatives. So the answer to three plus negative five is negative two, because I have two negatives here. Next problem, negative seven plus one. Again, when I add objects, I combine them. So I'm going to show my seven negatives, and I'm going to add to it one positive. Well, how many zero pairs can I create? I can only create one zero, and this zero is going to go away. That's going to leave me with one, two, three, four, five, six, but those six these six lines here are negative. So therefore the answer to negative seven plus one is negative six. Well, what if I had negative two plus negative five? I have two negatives, and I'm going to add to it five negatives. Since I can't create any zero pairs, I'm just going to add what I have here. I'm going to combine them and put them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But it's just not seven, it's seven negatives. So the answer is negative seven. The same rule goes to whatever goes to whatever you add positives. Four plus three. In this problem, I have four problem, four positives, and I'm going to add three positives. Since I can't create any zero pairs. I'm just going to combine my positives. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven positives, so we can just write seven. Or if you would like to put a plus sign here, you can. Okay, I'd like for you to work some now. Try some on your own.
Number one, negative four plus one. Number two, negative three plus eight. Number three, five plus negative two. And number four, eight plus negative eight. And you can pause the video right now while you work. Okay, uh, we're back. Um, about to work these problems. I hope you went through the whole process that I went through with your showing your positive and negative signs. So let's work the first one. The first one you have negative 4 plus 1. Well, I have 4 negatives and I have 1 positive. I want to add 1 positive. How many zero pairs can I create? Here's my zero pair right here. So the answer to negative 4 plus 1 is going to be 1, 2, 3, negative, negative 3. My next problem is negative 3 plus 8. So I'm going to show 3 negatives and 8 positives. Let me draw, let me create my zero pairs. There's a zero, there's a zero, and there's a zero. So you have what's left? You have one, two, three, four, five. You have five positives. So the answer is positive five. The next one you have is. 5 plus negative 2. You have 5 positives and you want to add 2 negatives. Here's a 0, here's a 0. What's the final answer? 3 positives. And the last one, you have 8 plus negative 8. I have 8 positives. And I want to add 8 negatives. I want to create my zeros. Here's a zero. 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 Do you have anything left? And these other problems over here that we worked, even though we created our zeros, we always had something left over. But if you notice in this problem, you have nothing left over. So therefore, since you have nothing left over, the answer is going to be zero. So eight plus negative eight is zero. This is just a, uh, a concrete example to help you with um, adding integers. Uh, I hope this helped you out a little bit. Um, in my next video I'm going to, well in my, one of my videos I'm going to actually, actually take out tiles and show you how this works with tiles just in case this was a bit much for you. But um, I hope you, um, I hope this helped you out a little bit. And I will see you next time.